looks like it's been three years, so I guess it's time to do another one of these. <coughs> Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and for those interested, we now have merch, everyone. Link will be in the description. Now is the time to cover PlayStation Vita news once again. Man, I miss the days when I was able to make these types of videos on the weekly for you all. Darn you, Rodalaika Games, for abandoning the PlayStation Vita. Everyone, everyone, remind me to send them a firm but polite letter telling them that they should start supporting the Vita again. That's right, it's time to suck up. But for the news that we do have this week, we have some things to look forward to. And tell me what you think about this news video down in the comment section below, because I'm curious to know what you think. You already know the drill, I'm your official stalker, blah 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 blah. Okay, here we go. Oh, and prepare for this to be a very Twitter-heavy episode of PlayStation Vita News. Today, we're gonna start off with East Asia Soft because they have a game coming for us in the pipeline. Truly, truly, if you're a part of the Vita community, that's probably the best sentence you ever could hear in your day, of your day, in your day, whatever. Here's what they had to say. Humanity's last hope has tentacles. Uh, well, that's an interesting way of starting things out. The 2D cutem up Takotan is now available digitally for Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and of course, as we can all expect, PS Vita version coming later. Ah, uh, you guys are always keeping us in anticipation. So just what the heck is Takotan? Aside from something that's making me extremely hungry right now. Hey, I like seafood. And as I'm salivating all over my keyboard after saying that, here's what Takotan's about. The world has been taken over by an alien invasion. My gosh, how many times have we heard that before? On the eve of destruction, humanity calls out for help. Takotan is a retro shoot 'em up inspired by 16-bit classics. Save the world from alien invasion by shooting and dodging your way through eight action-packed levels with sinister bosses. Collect a variety of power-ups including lasers, bowling balls, uh, bowling balls? And ninja stars, okay that's pretty epic, to take down enemies and defend the planet. Features, play in normal mode with 1,000 shields and three lives, letting you recover if you don't take another hit too quickly. Test your skill in panic mode with only a shield power-up and no HP, allowing only two hits before you're cooked. See, they have to use the word cooking now, now I'm even more hungry. Design your own challenge with custom mode to set max shield, lives, weapons, starting level, and more. Enjoy a more casual experience in assist mode, cutting all damage in half. And aside from me wanting to take a bite out of this game, it looks extremely fun. And no worries, I will keep you all up to date as more info becomes available. Hopefully we'll be getting this game in the coming month or two. Maybe. Possibly. Let's hope. Let's move on now. For any peoples out there who happen to pick up a copy of Battle Rockets, and when I say copy, I mean a digital version, we have some great news for you all. You're going to be getting a pretty snazzy update. This tweet, remember I told you, Twitter heavy episode, Gumbo Machines stated the following. Oh, and they're the devs, by the way. You heard us right. Our hashtag Vita Island exclusive is getting an all new update free to any owner of the game. Keep your eyes peeled for Battle Rockets 2.0. But in the meantime, you can try out a special PC demo. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna stop right there. This is not a PC channel. This is a PS Vita channel. We don't use that type of language here. Oh, but you just said PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch a few minutes ago. Let's not concentrate on that, let's just talk about this game. Battle Rockets is a unique shmup fighter designed exclusively for the PS Vita. In Battle Rockets, each player chooses a side, literally. Play as one of eight Council Tan fighters and battle your friends or foes or complete strangers. Personal favorite of mine here, just saying, I love scaring strangers. Just ask the people I ride the subway with. Okay, we don't technically have a subway where I live, but I do like the restaurant. Face off in one of three multiplayer modes. Dual Shock, lower your opponent's HP. If their HP is all depleted, you win. Not sure why they had to explain that part to us. Short Fuse, five rounds, five chances to get the first shot. Who will win the most rounds? Cash Grab, collect all the coins you can, or just zap them out of your foe's pockets. But watch out for that time limit. It, or try your hand at one of eight single player challenges. These mini games expand upon the Council 10 lore and allow players to hone their skills. Are you head to head ready? Or as the description says, are you head to heady? <laughs> that was just bad. And while they didn't go into extreme detail as what we'll be getting in this update, according to this pic that I am seeing here, it says new fighters, new modes, and new look. 
coming to PS Vita. Not sure what the latter part is getting at, but you know. So you can just infer from that what you will. Gotta take it with a grain of salt here. Mmm, salt. Hope you all out there still like pins. Jess has just finished her Final Fantasy version, which is based off a world of Final Fantasy, and is available right now on her Etsy shop. And uh, it doesn't say much, but I'll just read it for what the heck. Final Fantasy Vita pins now in stock on my Etsy store. And there's the link. Hashtag Vita Island, hashtag PS Vita, hashtag Final Fantasy. And as per tradition on this channel, I'll have a link to her Twitter for anybody who is interested in her items at hand. I feel like that's kind of becoming a running gag now on this channel. Oh, and normally this is the part where I would usually add some World of Final Fantasy footage here for you to enjoy, but Square Enix will probably copyright claim the video, so I won't. For any and all out there who have ordered East Azasoft's past PS Vita physical releases, they have given us an update because I too have been wondering what the heck is going on. Following some pandemic related production hiccup, we're finally back on track with a confirmed time frame for our physical PS Vita releases, and here is when they'll be shipping out. Early October, Xeno Crisis, Guard Duty, and Gambare Super Strikers. Late October, Chasm early November, Awesome P Collection. So yeah, if you were like me and wondering what the heck was going on with these titles and why they were not in our mailboxes, well, your questions have been answered. Hmm, can't think of anything else funny to say. Oh yeah, we're still going here. Plenty more Vita news awaits. Well, actually, this is the segment where you're gonna have to take things at heart. And, uh, well, you, you'll see what I mean here. Thomas Hopper, a developer for the Vita, had a Twitter post to post, and posted this by posting it postally. Might have some epic Vita-related news soon. No, not that one. A different one, but still good. So I guess what we can infer from this is that he has possibly a new Vita game in the pipeline again. Kind of like the what that Tokiton game was, except it doesn't make me quite as hungry as the other one did. So that's cute. And Gumbo Machine, also a dev for the Vita, said, Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your Vitas. We've got something cool for our players in the coming months. So keep an eye out. And that's basically what both of them had to say. Again, normally this is where I would play footage for you to see of what they're talking about, but they're being extremely vague at the moment. So instead, I decided to post this kitty. Yeah, everybody loves cats, right? Cats are a way of life. Unless you're a dog person. Whereas then you probably find this video extremely offensive. So let's just move on. And when I say move on, I guess that means to the end of the video. Because it's over with. So tell me which part of the new segment interested you guys. What games are you looking forward to? Which ones do you think are shrouded in mystery? Which would probably be the last two, I guess. Let me know down in the comment section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Silica, Ronan Alganto, Burrs and Mystery, Tasha Monti, Redwan Alloy, Eric DeWitt, Larry Anderson, Rodrigo Vera, Skullshire Tugel TCG, David Ray, Mario Cruz, Aaron Swanson, Adam Theory, Wendy K, Jelle, Heston Joseph, Pierce Sterner, Lori Sweeney, Kevin Enright, Erock, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Joshua Williams, Kyle Brooks, Adam Sondi, Clayton Merlarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdal Imbert, Hero Acer, BMF, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Makis Blob, Milk Sama, B Mystery, Neo Arashi, Matt Fox, and Reiko Star. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that's cool too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to accomplish this down there. Oh, and East Asia Soft, we better be seeing our games, man. I got a Hitman ready if not.